Hello and welcome to the Scannable channel and today I'm going to show you how to install Windows 11 onto a brand new PC or knowing how to make a Windows 11 bootable media device if you ever wanted to install or tinker with Windows on whatever you're working on. So this is part three of a multi-part video series covering how to build a gaming PC from start to finish. The first two parts covered what parts to choose for a gaming PC, the second part, how to put it together, and the third part is how we're actually gonna go ahead and turn it on for the first time, install Windows. But before we do any of that, I have to show you how to create one of these, which you can do for free. So step one, you need an eight gigabyte or bigger USB flash drive. And keep in mind, whatever you choose is going to be completely wiped clean. So if there's any important data on here, back it up somewhere else, because we need a completely clean USB drive. So go ahead, take your USB flash drive. Let's go ahead and plug it in. There is our spare USB. Now there's clearly nothing on it, but do keep in mind, whatever you do, you have to format this USB drive first, which you gotta do by right clicking on the spare USB icon here. Then you go to here where it says format. This is going to be necessary. Make sure it's at full capacity. We wanna do FAT32, not NTFS. And then for the allocation unit size, you can just keep this by how it is or do default, doesn't matter. You can name it whatever you want. Enable quick format, we're not doing anything huge here. Once again, by doing this, you're gonna erase all the contents on this USB, hit okay, and the format is complete. So we have a completely bare and new USB flash drive to work with. Next thing, you're gonna go ahead and type in create installation media for Windows whatever, 10 or 11, choose whichever one you want. You wanna click on the link that says create installation media for Windows. Let's go here to Windows 11, download Windows 11 site, you should see something like this. We're gonna ignore installation assistant. That is boring. We want the installation media. We'll go ahead and hit download now. We'll go ahead and click on the executable here. There is our spare USB flash drive. Go ahead and hit next. We'll go ahead and let this run and we'll catch up with you guys later. Now, while this is downloading and getting set up on your Windows 11 bootable media device, you can actually go ahead and grab yourself a Windows 11 or 10 key right now before you actually turn on and activate Windows on your new PC. The sponsor for today's video is actually my CDKS. This is the site that I use for pretty much all of my PC builds to activate them in Windows. And we're gonna go ahead and use Windows 11 Pro. There's not that much of a difference between Pro and Home. I'll go ahead and add this to cart click on this. But what's important is you want to use my discount code SV30. This gets you a discount on your order, which brings this a Windows 11 Pro down to under 20 bucks. Now we'll go ahead, log into our account, process the order, and I'll catch up with you guys when this finishes. But let's see, how is this doing? It's getting there. So we just purchased it. We did our thing through PayPal and we should then, as you can see, I've purchased multiple keys before, but let's go ahead and get the key from here. Click get key. And here I'm going to go ahead there's show key, there's our key. I'm gonna have it blurred right now because we're not ready to input this into the PC just yet, but I don't wanna have this on hand for where we get to the activation part for Windows. But if we check back right here, we are about 51% done and we'll let this run and then we'll actually go ahead and turn on our PC for the first time. So this is finished. Go ahead and hit finish. <laughs> we're gonna let that do its thing. Click on the little arrow down here, right click on our USB drive hit eject, it's ready to remove like that. And all we gotta do is basically put this into the PC and then turn it on. So let me tell you the steps on how to do that. All right, let's go ahead and put our USB flash drive into the back of the PC into one of the USB 3.0 ports. So this can be one of the blue colored ports. There we go. I'd recommend doing that over a USB 2.0 port or one of the ports on the front. This guarantees at the most you'll for sure be booting from this USB flash drive when you first turn on your PC. But now onto the rest of the stuff. So in your power supply box, you're probably given a power supply cable that looks like this. So this end right here is what you're gonna plug in into the back of your power supply. And then you're gonna flick the switch from the zero to the one. With the back of that power supply, when you flick the switch from the zero to the one, that primes the PC to be ready to be turned on for the first time. If it's at the zero, no matter how many times you click the power button, the PC will not turn on. Now the next part, your display cable. This can be anything. It can be HDMI, it can be DisplayPort, whatever you want, whatever works with your graphics card or however you're gonna display out to your PC. 
So me, since this is a gaming PC, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the display cable down here where the graphics card is. See this? Down here where the graphics card is, not up here with the motherboard is, but down here where the graphics card is. If you have a regular PC without a graphics card, you wanna plug here where the motherboard is, but again, display cable is down here. And then we're gonna plug the other end into our monitor. Now don't forget, here is the power cable to our monitor. You also wanna plug this in, so don't forget this step. And then finally, make sure to plug in your keyboard and mouse into the computer. This should be pretty straightforward. Okay, we've got everything plugged in. And don't forget, make sure the power supply is switched from the zero to the one on the back of the unit. And I'm just gonna go ahead, press the power button. There's another switch I had to flick. Let's see if this works. All right, some of these turned on. Ooh, we're getting some life. Ooh, there we go. We just saw the brain of the motherboard come up. That was good. And here, if you see a screen like this that says new CPU installed, FTPM, blah, 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 just hit Y on your keyboard and proceed. Okay, we have seen this screen before and it's just basically a screen that says, be sure to proceed, new CPU installed. Now please press F1 to enter the BIOS. Cool, cool, and look at that right there. This is actually our USB drive that has our Windows 11 bootable media device, which is good. And as you can see, we don't have any other SSDs recognized because we don't have any Windows partitions installed on those. Anyways, while we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and enable Expo. That's just how our RAM is gonna run at its full advertised speed for a little bit more performance. And that's mostly it. I'll hit save and exit. And a lot of you should actually see this screen first. Usually you don't enter the BIOS before the Windows 11 installation screen, but it looks like we had to do that <laughs> after entering the BIOS. Once you see this spinny circle right here, that means you're basically in the clear. And now let's go ahead and fully install Windows. Here we're gonna go ahead and select our language. We'll just hit English, there's our country. We're gonna go ahead and install Windows 11 since we're doing this on a brand new computer. Now here is where you can go ahead and enter in your product key. Now again, I went ahead and bought one already from our sponsor, MyCDKS. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter that in letter by letter. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and double check the key, make sure that all checks out. All right, I think that's good. We'll hit next. Except, hmm, as you can see, there is our USB flash drive with our Windows 11 bootable media device. We're obviously not going to install the OS on there. We're gonna install the OS to where it says disk zero with this one terabyte of unallocated space. That is our M.2 SSD we went with for our PC build tutorial. We're gonna go ahead and click create partition, apply. So it's gonna be the full space. So now this has split up. We've got three different partitions in disk zero. We've got partition one, partition two, partition three. Partition three is actually what's gonna let us proceed when we hit next. This is the primary. This is gonna give you the full one terabyte of space. I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. We'll go ahead and hit install and we'll let this do its thing. So now you should progress to this screen, but you've actually got two options to go about this. You can do this the normal way, which is the way you'll find in pretty much all of my PC build guide videos on my channel, which is you just hit next, yes, with your country, and you'll eventually sign into your Microsoft account and connect to Wi-Fi. Now, with a lot of brand new computers, including this one, they won't have Wi-Fi drivers pre-installed, even if there's like Wi-Fi already supported on the motherboard through some antennas. And that could be an issue sometimes because you may have to resort to a spare USB Wi-Fi adapter just to connect to the internet just to fulfill this one step or connect with an ethernet cable from the back of your PC to a router. It's just a lot of inconvenience, but that is the traditional way to go about it. But there's another way you can install Windows 11 without logging into your Microsoft account and without utilizing Wi-Fi at all actually. And it's pretty easy. Press Shift F10 on your keyboard and you're given a little command prompt right here. Let me put that right in the middle and you're gonna type in start space ms dash ch or cxh colon local only enter and that completely bypasses the need to create a microsoft account so you can go ahead and name this pc whatever you want i'll name it um tutorial computer or tutorial pc and here's the password and then you can make the security questions whatever you want or you can even do this without a password. 
and you can skip a ton of steps. Now, again, if you wanna do this the traditional way, just watch any of my previous PC build guides. I'll have an example linked in the description down below. If you wanna do this the traditional way with hooking up a Microsoft account to your PC, if say you wanna have access to the Microsoft Store and being able to log into your Xbox account if you have some games in the Microsoft Store, but this is super duper fast. And then it brings you here to the privacy screen. I just hit no for all of these because I don't want any of those being tracked on my PC. And we just jump right to the Windows home screen. It's ridiculously fast. And that's pretty much it. From here on out, we're gonna go ahead and set up the drivers and like the Wi-Fi drivers, graphics card drivers, and everything else you need to properly set up your PC. But this is it. You've installed Windows 11. So catch me on part four, where I go ahead and show you again how to install the drivers for everything you need to make this a gaming PC.